kids are already off to school. Yes, I had just dropped them off in front of the school. And you, can you already go to work? Yes, I'm going to work. Okay, have a pleasant day. Thanks, nice day to you too. Thanks, so I forgot. What is there again? Please, could you deposit some money for home shopping, because there is not much left in the closets? There are some essential things we really need in the house. You know I don't have any money. You know the situation I am currently going through at work, and you are still asking me for money. For several weeks, I was the one who took care of everything in this house. I had even used up all my savings. I don't want to get upset. Keep managing the house like you've been doing all these weeks. Because it was not for nothing that I opened a store for you. Have you forgotten that I had not found customers for a few months when I opened my store? If I still had money with me, did you think I would come and ask you again? I don't have any money. Do as you always did. Well, I'm leaving because I don't want to be late for work. See you tonight. I am really starting to get overwhelmed by the situation we are going through in this house. Now I'm going to see my friend to ask for a loan. Fortunately, she is there to help me out whenever I find myself in financial difficulties. My wife had just warmed my blood this morning. I had always told her not to ask me for money when I did not have any. However, she never listens to me. I don't even know why she's behaving like this. My friend Florence would like me to lend her more money. I hope it will not be long in coming. Oh, I'm sure she's the one knocking on the door. Hi, I came to get what I asked you for. Okay, that works. I already prepared that for you. Thanks so much for your help. Of nothing. You know, considering the financial difficulties that you have been going through in your marriage for a few months now, I would like to know if it would be interesting if I took you back to my psychic so that she could find a solution. You know that I am a Christian, I could never do that kind of thing. It seems that the situation that you are going through is just right for you. Why do you say that? Because under normal circumstances, you would have to accept my proposal. I don't need your psychic. I pray to God every day and I know that one of these days my prayer will be answered. Sincerely, I think that your God does not listen to your prayers, because if he listened to everything you asked of him, you would not come to take money to me. What kind of Christian are you really? Are you and your husband really sure that you worship the one true, the one and only true God? Frankly, I am genuinely beginning to have my doubts about how you worship this God. <laughs> Surely you are not keeping these commandments at all. Are you laughing at me and my husband? Not at all. I'm just telling you the truth. In any case, it's up to you to decide. Well, I went to get what you asked for. Today. I'm going to see if the lady I was shopping in her store, has opened her store. I thank God for the loan that my friend gave me today. Thanks to this money, I will be able to do some shopping at home. Since I opened my store this morning, I haven't found any customers yet. However, the shops next to me really don't have the same problem as me. What I don't understand is that I was the first person to open my store in this neighborhood. But today, the stores that came after me are finding a lot of customers more than me. It seems that my store was invisible despite all the prayers I say on a daily basis. I don't find satisfaction. I am exhausted. Afterwards, a customer arrives. Good morning here. Hi, my favorite customer. So you had traveled, I had never seen you in my store for so long. It's up to me to ask you this question. I used to pass by here all the time, but your store was always closed. Oh yes. Did you travel? Not at all. I was always here. I opened my store all the time. Oh good. However, I could not see it. It's weird because it was always open. So what do you want to buy from me today? I didn't know I was going to find your store open. As you are back in business, tomorrow. I will come back to do some shopping at your place. 
Okay, that works. So I'll see you tomorrow. Yes, see you tomorrow. Wow. I was surprised at what my client had just said to me. I had never closed my store doors, but my customers think my door was locked. I don't understand anything anymore. What is happening is very serious. I would quickly go and find a man of God so that he could come and pray in my shop. I am even ready to spend the money that my friend loaned me today to transport him, because this situation needs to be resolved as soon as possible. As I told you, man of God. That's what brings me here. I would like you to be able to come and pray in my shop, because what is happening is not normal at all. I would also like you to visit my houses so that you can say powerful words, because my husband and I had been going through a very complicated situation in recent months. Despite all the prayers I say on a daily basis, our situation is still not changing. It seems that my prayers are not working. Really, I don't know what to do anymore. Sisters in Christ, let me tell you that I am no bigger than you are in God's eyes, because God doesn't neglect anyone. I don't need to travel to come and pray, neither in your house, nor in your shop. Why? Because you also have the power to pray for a solution to your problems. When you pray for a difficult situation, you should know that it is not your prayer that will give you the solution, but it is your faith. Let me remind you that from the moment you received Jesus Christ into your life and you were born again, you also received power within yourself. You have received the nature of Christ in you and this means that you now have strength dominion, authority, supremacy. You should know that Christ lives in you and it is the conviction and the assurance that you are in him that will determine the power of your prayers. You need to know your identity in Christ, because Christ in you is the hope of glory. As Christians, we need to be able to proclaim these words that the Apostle Paul began by saying it is no longer I who live, but it is Christ who lives in me. We need to be aware of the glory that lives within us. If we sense manifestations, unclean spirits around us. We need to take authority over them because we are full of power and fire. This is what every Christian should have in mind. God is not a man to lie, nor a son man to repent. Galatians 4, 7 So you are no longer a slave, but God's child. And since you are his child, God has made you also an heir. When Christ said that he dwells in us. This is not a joke, but a truth and we need to believe in his words. Many Christians do not know what they are in Christ, which is why they are very pressured by unclean spirits. We need to embrace the reality of Christ within us before engaging in spiritual battles. Until this stage is validated, our spiritual life cannot move forward. Okay, man of God, thank you so much for your words. That gives me a lot of comfort. Let us glorify God infinitely for this, sister. But man of God, I also say prayers of proclamation. However, nothing has changed compared to the situation I am going through. Let me tell you that anyone can make prayers, but all of this will depend on the disposition of your heart. Most of the time, if we have faith. Above all this, take the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the fiery darts of the evil one. We need to realize our superiority status. We need to be convinced of the glorious power that dwells within us. It's not enough to just proclaim we need to be sitting on the Word of God. This stage is an essential step, the foundation, the basis for having the power to dominate the enemy. My sister, I invite you to pray with all your heart and with all your strength in order to receive the fullness and the power of the Spirit of God. I don't need to travel to pray for you, because you yourself have the power within you to defeat all the evil forces. I beg you my sister, put into practice. In a few days, you will testify to the greatness of the Lord Jesus Christ in your life. Okay, brethren, I got your message. Starting today, I will put your advice into practice. May the Lord Jesus Christ help you in this new resolution. Amen. Goodbye. Goodbye, sister. I am a bit disappointed. I thought that the brother in Christ was going to follow me to come and pray in my shop despite the money I had offered him. But he refused, telling me that I also had the power to pray for my situation and get solutions. As soon as I get home, I will tell my husband everything and I will also put the brother's advice into practice to see what happens next. 
I really don't understand what's going on with my friend Florence in the last few weeks. She no longer comes to lend money to me. It seems that the difficult situation she was going through had improved before, when she had nothing to do at home. She would come to my house and we would talk about everything. We even spent our time talking about and criticizing others. Maybe because I laughed at her last time, she took it the wrong way and maybe she decided not to come see me anymore. I'll go see her in her store to find out a bit more about what's going on exactly. I had just finished my work day. I would go help my wife. My wife asked me to come and help her prepare her orders because she had just asked me for help. I have been very proud of her ever since she started by putting into practice the advice of a brother in Christ. Our situation had improved all of a sudden. We don't even fight anymore. Calm has returned to our house. We don't lack anything anymore. Frankly, I give God credit for everything that is happening in our lives. As I told you Patty, today I know my identity in Christ. I am now trying to walk on my God's commandments to benefit from the happiness that he promised me in his word. But why don't you come to my house anymore for gossip? Previously, I no longer came to your house because I would no longer want to criticize or speak against people. I want to be happy and continue to experience the happiness of Psalm 1 Chapter 1. Since when did you know all this stuff? Did a psychic reveal all this to you? No, not at all. As a true child of God, do not consult fortune tellers or marabouts. I learned about all of these things when I started reading my Bible. Today, I know my identity in Christ and I try to walk on the precepts of the Gospel in order to benefit from all the grace of God. Wow! You are unrecognizable. Before, you didn't talk like that at all. You know today, I am trying to do my best to please my God because I would never want to go through the difficult situation that I went through with my husband in the past again. I would also advise you to give your life to Christ because in Him, we are full of promises. Right now, I'm not ready to give my life to Jesus because I can't stop to criticize and speak ill of others. There are lots of prohibitions in Jesus that I could not respect, so I prefer to continue my life like that. Don't say that. It's the Lord Jesus Christ who helps us give up the bad habits we have. If you come to him, he will be able to help you, because it was for sinners that he came to die on the cross of Golgotha. I'm sorry, I like the life I'm living. If you can't criticize people like me anymore, I think our paths are going to go in separate ways here. In fact, don't never come to my house again because I want to walk with people who have the same life principle as me. You don't know what you are talking about? I pray that the Lord Jesus Christ touches your heart and help you, because you are a good person. I will remember you in all my prayers. Don't even waste your time for me. Goodbye. I don't recognize Florence anymore. It looks like someone had turned his brain around. Now I'm going to find another friend who can replace her. So honey, did you have a good day? Yes. I'm just a bit tired, but I'm still going to help you prepare your customers' orders. Thank you so much for your support. You are adorable. You're welcome, my wife. I am very happy with the way our problems came to an end all of a sudden. I would never want to go through the situation we went through again. Same as me, sweetie. Finally. The brother in Christ didn't even come home to pray but we found the solution to our problems. And yes, sweetie, today I realized that it was the way we took our Christian life seriously that made us where we are today. Exactly my husband. You know, my wife, Luke 10 19 Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. As Christians, we need to be confident because God's word is alive and effective. You're right, darling. We need to realize who we are in the Lord. We should have esteem for ourselves and have no doubts, because the King of Kings dwells in us. Of course, my wife. You know, I really understood that before engaging in spiritual battles against the evil spirits that torment us on a daily basis, we must first of all meditate on our spiritual life and on the power of God that dwells in us. 
I truly pray that all Christians will know the glory and the power that is found in the name of our wonderful Lord Jesus Christ, and that he will be able to walk on the precepts of the gospel of Christ, so that he can resist temptation and the enemy. Amen even. Brothers and sisters, that's it all for this video. If you like this video, feel free to like it, comment and share around you so that many souls be saved and restored. And don't forget to subscribe to the Sentinel channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. God bless you.